Our at-home ball handling program is now live. You want to continue to improve your game throughout the course of the year. You want to improve at home. Listen, a basketball, a little bit of space, and a plan, a direction for where to go and how to improve. We got you covered with that part of our program. Every single video demonstrated by me, every drill broken down by me, the purpose, not just the drill, but the skills behind it broken down by me with our four week at home ball handling program. When it comes to handling the basketball, we really talk about five different really progressions that we try to make as an athlete. And it all starts with having a great stance. This is a foundational piece to any type of athlete because without a great base, it's very difficult to move efficiently, be explosive, be athletic out of it. So with this at-home ball handling program, because we don't have a ton of space, maybe you're in the basement, garage, driveway, whatever that might look like, maybe in the living room, okay? We'll talk a lot about having a great base. And a lot of that great base talks about being on the balls of our feet, having our angles of our feet point forward instead of out to our sides. That helps be a little more bouncy. We'll talk about the angles of our shins, allowing us to be able to change direction. There's so many little tidbits that we break down with our stance. And on top of our stance, it also involves moving our feet. How do we be more efficient, even in a small amount of space, working on creating space, separation, being strong with the balls. There's still a lot of footwork involved, even though this is more of a stationary program. And then for our players that come to our camps, other parts of our Kramer basketball app, we really dive into our progressions of are we in a stance, okay, now can we start? Can we move efficiently out of a position, right? Without a whole lot of wasted movement. And then everybody want to work on the gas, you gotta be able to put the brakes on, right? So are, are we developing a good fundamental foundation of putting on the brakes? We give terms to that, gas foot, brake foot. We talk about how athletes can stop. Once you've established a great base, ability to start, stop, we gotta learn how to change direction, right? Basketball's full of these small little change of directions. And we even get into some of that with our at-home ball handling program. So that one's huge. And then the last one is putting it into a game situation, practicing against bodies, right? Bones over cones, so to speak. And that's where you really get to try some of these things that we're working on in our at-home ball handling program, in one-on-one, -on -one, in three-on-three, -three, in five-on-five, -on -five, in practice, in that summer basketball camp or that clinic where you, you come to me and we get to play some one-on-one -on -one or some three-on-three -three or some two-on-two -two and you put those things into place and try them out. So these are our five progressions for ball handling movement. And we're really gonna dig into our stance and our at-home ball handling program. And then we're gonna touch on these three right here. So hit the link, Kramer Basketball Lab, it's four weeks. You get access for 10. If you have any questions, let me know. You can't help but get better if you're doing this consistently throughout our entire program. Let's go.